Hi everyone! In this video, we will talk about postural instability in Parkinson's disease. Let's get started. Parkinson's disease is a progressive disorder of the central nervous system with both motor and non-motor symptoms. Postural instability, as one of its cardinal features, is an abnormality of posture and balance. It is caused by atrial rigidity, muscle weakness, loss of available ROM, particularly of trunk motions, and side effects of medications like postural hypotension and dyskinesia. Other factors such as narrowing of base of support in the form of tandem stance and divided attentional situations also increase postural instability. Patients usually experience difficulty in self-initiated movements such as functional reach, walking, or turning, and they perform poorly under conditions of perturbed balance. This is due to abnormal pattern of coactivation resulting in rigid body and an inability to utilize normal postural synergies to recover balance. Sensory motor integration is also impaired in relation to their difficulty in adapting movement strategies to changing sensory conditions. Some patients are unable to perceive the upright or vertical position, which may indicate abnormality in processing vestibular, visual, and proprioceptive information contributing to balance. As the disease progresses, they may develop flexed stoop posture with increased flexion of the neck, trunk, hips, and knees. Thus, their function becomes progressively more limited, leading to reduced activity levels and higher risk for fall. However, through a combined approach of physical therapy and pharmacological interventions, secondary complications can be minimized and their functional abilities may improve. I hope you've learned something today. Thank you for watching and see you again on my next video.